Um, it might be just useful to start off just by explaining what a learning journey is. Okay, it's the assessment tool we use in the earliest foundation stage. So there are six areas of learning and to assess where the girls are, we use a learning journey to make photographic observations, written observations, do videos and things like that. Learning journey is particularly useful because you cannot do any kind of tests with your children of such a young age. So it's got to be continual observations, it's the only way we can assess them. Um, and the learning journeys are just a culmination of them all together. It's something nice for parents to see, so it's good for our communication with them. You know, I'm a parent that spends probably 50% of my time out of the country. <laughs> so to go online to see what my child is doing from distant fields is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It really is, you know, you actually feel that the family's there with you some of the time. Mm -hmm. With their parents at home is invaluable to us because that's so important for them to share. Um, and also they're adding videos and photos on themselves at home with the help of their parents. Um, so yeah, they're getting more involved in their own learning, the parents as well, it's really good. I loved it when the idea was first you know, floated around and I know that you had been trialling it and uh, when it was implemented across the class, it was really nice uh, because I'm constantly in touch with what's going on with her school life and that to me was really welcome to know that I could stay on top of it and, you know, use it as some sort of um, an incentive in our own parenting. By us seeing what they're doing at school, mm -hmm. it's the communication aspect, isn't it? You know, we, we are seeing what they're doing, therefore we're being able to assist with what they're doing at school and, and bring their learning on. An example is the chicks came in this week and she was a carer for for the day and you know she was explaining to me about the food and how and it just you know brought us into about a 20 minute conversation discussing what they got up to so I think they do get quite proud and excited um, to see their pictures being put on. Edmodo is a site that uses very similar um, social networking structure to Facebook and various other social networking sites um, so that students and teachers can interact socially in the learning environment um, and it provides a lot of the safety that's missing from other um, social networking sites which is probably its biggest plus I think. It's um, amazing how much they were able to gain from using a format that they already know um, and apply that to learning that they would normally have just done in a classroom normally. I mean, we do internet research all the time um, in music on new topics, but to have it directed in a way where they could interact with each other um, really directly on something they see is quite cool and fun. Um, it really pushed along very much quicker than I've ever seen it before. Um, they were able to get into much more depth than they ever have with just sitting in pairs at computers, talking maybe to the person next to them or discussing as a class um, in a kind of uh, regular classroom format where everything's quite rigid and formal and they all know the rules and you put your hand up. In this way they all threw in their ideas and people commented on them and discussions emerged um, and they often went on off on tangents that I hadn't planned, um, which were all really positive actually. I've done sort of short, easy questions for, for them to discuss just within that forum itself. So, put, yeah, photo up. When was this? What was it? But I've also done, I've also used it for announcements, so bring in your textbooks tomorrow, things like that. It's really, really easy. Or um, sort of more broad discussions about who was the most important person for this and why. Uh, for the more discursive subjects, it's incredibly useful, um, especially when you've got quieter pupils in your class who you always want to encourage but you don't want to put pressure on etc etc I've found that this is a really really good way of, of getting their uh, attention and getting their confidence to speak um, because they can sort of um, they can feel more comfortable in that environment uh, they can think about what they're going to write before they say it and so if they are worried about saying something silly they've got that time and space um, to to contribute yeah I definitely think it's useful because um, if there's anything we're unsure of, we can either post it for everyone else to also put in like their what their their opinions. Yeah, over the Easter holiday, I had a question, or um, one of the other girls had a question, then I answered it. But then Sophie also put her input in, and it was really useful to see how each of us sort of interpreted the question, and so that we could understand it more.